Hi, welcome to the Spoonia Cafe. My name is Shane Richards. Who is your best teammate? Uh, my best teammate would have to be Rod. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Shane, how do you feel in Stargard? Because this season is the first season in Europe for you, and in Europe they play different than college. Uh, that's very true. They definitely, the game is definitely different here than it is in, uh, in the States. Um, you know, I, Stargard has, has grown on me. You know, I, I, when I first got here, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect, but you know, as, as I've gotten more comfortable in the city, you know, I, it's, it's grown on me. So I do feel comfortable here now. Um, first season in Europe. Yeah, you know, being out of the country for the first time, for me, you know, it was, it was difficult at first, but like I said, you know, I'm adjusting nicely to the city and the fans have helped a lot with that. <laughs> what is your role in the team, leader or role player? Um, I would have to say, um, I would have to say we're all just, you know, we're all equals on the team. You know, obviously there's certain people that are more vocal than others, but, you know, I believe we all play an equal part in winning and losing. So, you know, we're, we're a team here first and, and, that's, uh, and that's how I feel. What is your favorite song? Uh, like Polish song or? Uh, what is your favorite song? My favorite song would have to be, hmm. I don't know. They, they probably won't even know it, right? Or, or maybe. Let me think. I got a couple, though. I can tell my favorite artist. I don't really have a favorite song. My favorite artist is Meek Mill. Uh, he's an American rapper. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of him. <laughs> probably not. What knowledge about Poland have you had before coming to us? This applies to communism often associated by Americans of Poland. Um, <laughs> I never thought Poland was run by communists. Uh, Back in the, in the 80, oh, you're talking 80, about 89, so. uh, no, that, even born the yeah, I mean, I, I haven't heard that rumor, but um, what have I known about Poland? Uh, not much, not much. Uh, my, my, my mom's family is from here. But I, I don't know a lot about it before coming here. You know, obviously, uh, it was my first time out of the country, so out of my country. So, um, so not my answer would be <laughs> not a lot, not a lot. What are your greatest achievements? Uh, my greatest achievements would have to be during my college career, winning back-to-back -back MAC championships and going to the NCAA tournament two years in a row. You know, th those were some of the better moments so far in my life and uh, definitely memorable ones. Have you seen fans cheering like in Stargard and your former teams? No, and you guys are one of a kind. You guys are awesome here. Um, there's nothing like you guys in the league for sure. You know, you guys show up no matter what, even if we come off a bad loss or anything. You know, obviously we, we've liked, we would have liked to play it a little bit better so far for you guys, but your, your guys' support is, is unparalleled compared to anything else that I've seen. So definitely thank you for that. Are Polish women the most beautiful in the world? Um, there's definitely some good looking Polish people that I've seen so far. Um, in the world, I don't know. I guess, I guess you guys would have to decide that. I'm not sure. I mean, definitely, definitely on par with, with, uh, <laughs> with other countries for sure. When did you start playing basketball? Uh, I started playing basketball when I was in fifth grade. So I think I was about 11 years old when I started. My favorite sport outside of basketball is easily American football, easily.
from the bottom. What did your basketball road to the Polish league look like? Um, coming out of college, I went. I was uh, drafted by the in, in the NBA G League, and uh, I played there the last two seasons before coming here to Stargard. If you were a player in the NBA, what team would you choose? New York, easy. New York City, all day. Do you know that many Spoonia fans give you great sympathy and hope that you will become a quiet leader of the team? Yeah, I do. Uh, you, guys, you guys support me no matter what. It's made my transition to coming overseas much easier. You know, everywhere I go, everyone is friendly. You know, people, are help, people help me out with the language and um, you guys have been awesome so far. Favorite NBA team, the Knicks. Easy. How do you spend time in Stargard and what's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant has got to be, what's that place by my, the bistro place? I think it's called Bistro, right? Bistro na Talejo. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the bistro place, uh, it's right by my apartment. You know, they have great food. It's, it's, it's affordable and uh, the ladies in there speak English, so that, that's a big, a big plus for me when the people in there understand what I want to order. Uh, do you have any passions outside of basketball? Um, not particularly, no. You know, basketball has been my whole life since I was really young. Um, obviously, I have hobbies and stuff like that, but you know, basketball is definitely the main focus in my life so far. What hobbies? What hobbies? Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I love sports. I love uh, doing stuff with my friends and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of movies. Um, what other hobbies? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, that's about it, actually. Let's see. Okay. What does your ordinary day look like? Um, here? Is it? What does my ordinary day look like? My ordinary, my ordinary day looks like here would be probably waking up, having breakfast, go to the bistro spot with Rod, uh, probably go to practice, come back, and, uh, and probably grab something else to eat. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty low key. I don't really do too much. You know, I kind of kind of just stay, stay, uh, stay, stay local. What will you say about our fans in the fan club? and ask you to greet the fan club during your interview. They want me to say hi? Uh, <laughs> no, you guys are, like I said earlier, you guys are the best that I've seen so far, especially in Poland and even in America as well. You guys get behind us to the full extent and, you know, if, uh, I'll give you guys a shout out right here. Thank you for everything you guys have done for us so far and we appreciate your continued support. <laughs> this question's fun. How does a New York man find himself in 68,000 city? Are you not bored? Um, I wouldn't say I'm bored. It's just different. It's a different atmosphere here. Um, obviously, anytime you get to know another culture um, that's different than yours, you know, it's definitely going to be a learning process. You know, there are obviously certain things that I've done that I do in in New York that I don't do here, but. Um, you know, I'm getting a I'm adjusting to uh, the life here in Stargard. Um, I wouldn't say I'm bored, you know, because my job is to come in here and win basketball games. It's not to come and party. So, <laughs> when will we see Shane Richards from Manhattan College from the 2015-16 season? Hopefully, next game. Hopefully, next game. Your favorite restaurant in New York? Man, there's so many good restaurants in New York. I don't know if I have a favorite one per se, but I do miss the Chinese food that we have in New York. I definitely miss that. Do you like Polish Star Guards girls? Of course, of course. <laughs> what do you think about the new coach? Uh, I believe he's, he's doing the right things. I believe that 
you know, he, his, his system it works for us. And as you can see, we've won the last two out of four, I believe. And uh, we look to continue our success heading forward. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of New York did you grow up in? I grew up in Manhattan. So the, the part with all the big buildings, that's where I grew up. I grew up in the, the middle of New York City. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was an incredible experience growing up there. It was like nothing, I, nothing else that I've experienced. So. What are you doing in free time? Um, what am I doing in my free time? I watch a lot of movies, a lot of Netflix. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm not a big party person, so I don't really go out and do those kind of things that much. But yeah, I would say just, just hanging out with, some, with uh, some of my teammates, watching a movie or TV show, something like that. Are you rather calm or crazy? <laughs> Um, I, I would say it depends on the situation. I think for the most part, I'm pretty calm and I'm, I'm yeah, I would say for the most part, I'm pretty calm. It would, it would depend on the situation though. If you can have skills, if you can have skills, the skills of one of your, the NBA players, who would you pick? Skills of an NBA player, who would I pick? I would pick, um... I guess I would pick LeBron James's athleticism, his uh, his uh, his vertical, his his length. I think that you know those those are things you just can't teach. You're kind of born with those attributes. But I would definitely definitely take his height, athleticism, and wingspan. Do you like Stargard, and do you plan to stay here? Um, like I said. Stargard has definitely grown on me as a city. You know, like I said, I love the people here. I, everywhere I go, everyone is, is helpful and, you know, very supportive of the team and myself. Uh, will I stay here? Uh, time will tell, you know. It's, it's, it's too early to say. I'm from New York in the neighborhood where you grew up. According to you, are the best street. You come from New York in a neighborhood in New York City where you grew up. According to you, are the best street ball players in New York City. And when you were younger, did you play in street ball tournaments? Yeah, I played, I played outside every single day when I was younger. Uh, and yes, New York definitely has the best, the best street ball players for sure, 100%. Can answer that if they want. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend in Stargard? No, I do not have a girlfriend in Stargard. Do you like cooking? I am a terrible cook. I can't cook anything. The only thing I can cook is Pasta and eggs. I would not want me near the kitchen if I were you. Uh, thank you for asking your questions. Uh, I hope I answered most of them. And uh, I hope I look forward to seeing you guys at the next home game. Can I just pick the best one? Or do I have to randomly choose? No, random. Random? Okay. You know, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh all right, let me start that over, but I gotta... Yeah.